Anonymous Watch Guy here with a full review video. Quick wrist check. Wearing the Accutron Astronaut that I featured on the channel here recently. Really awesome watch. Loving this one. Today we are taking a look at the F-150 Chrono uh, from Wish Do It. Now Wish Do It sent me this watch uh, in for review. Uh, I did an unboxing on it recently on the channel. And uh, now we're giving it the full review treatment. This is the second Wish Do It watch. I've got a smudge on the crystal, so of course I'm going to wipe that off. This is the second Wish Do It watch I have featured uh, on the channel. If you're looking for something a little bit different, if you're looking for something with a little bit of a wrist presence, if you're into this Tono case shape, kind of a Richard Mille-esque, uh, maybe this is something you want to check out because it is it gives you that look for a tiny fraction of the price. This one is at uh, 229 US dollars right now on the Wish Do It website. Excuse me, but they also have a sale going on right now where you can get a pretty good discount. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the video if you want to go check that out. Again, it is a little bit of a larger watch. It's 42 millimeters across. Uh, you do have a 25 millimeter uh, strap length. They do have or lug opening up here, I guess you want to call it strap width. Uh, they do have a variety of strap options on the website. They sent me an extra strap, and I will show you how the watch looks on that strap as well. Uh, you do have a 50 millimeter lug to lug. So again, it is a little bit of a larger watch, 42 by 50. It is 14.8 millimeters thick. You do have a push-pull crown there at the three o'clock position that gives you 50 meters water resistance. This is a mineral crystal, but as a sapphire coated mineral crystal. And this does have a Seiko quartz movement in there. It is a Seiko VD57 quartz movement. And what that is gonna give you is you've got a central uh, running seconds hand there. Uh, your top pusher up here is going to start your, your one Tenth of a second chrono up there, which is pretty cool. Looks pretty cool going around up there. You've got your uh, running seconds down here at the bottom and your 60 minute counter over there at the nine o'clock position. So you've got your one tenth chrono at the 12, your, your, your uh, running seconds down there at the uh, 60 or at the six, and then your 60 minute timer over there at the nine. Uh, so Really like the layout on this one, and I love that 10th second chrono and the way it looks. Uh, it looks like a, a kind of a speedometer, an old school speedometer on your dash. Uh, the 60 minute timer over there looks like a wheel, uh, kind, of, kind of a rim in the same for that running seconds down there. Really like the look uh, of the design of the chrono and the, uh, the, the car theme of it all. I think it looks really good. I think they did a nice job with that. You do have applied indices at each one of your indices, minus the six and the 12. You've got your Arabics going around there again, except for your three, six, nine, and 12. You've got your F-150 over there at the three o'clock position next to your framed date window there, framed in silver. Uh, really nice looking watch. Uh, I think it is fairly legible at a glance. It's a little bit busy, but you can, you can read it fairly legibly at a glance. There is some loom, which we will check out here at the end of the video. Uh, you've got your Papa Red there too with your F-150 series over there and your running seconds hand there with the red and the red tip down there on the uh, other chrono seconds down there as well. Looks really nice. You've got your 316L stainless steel case. It is all 316L. Some nice brush work on top of the case. You've got these kind of faux rivets on the top as well that add to that kind of a uh, an almost industrial vibe or, or automotive vibe uh, to the watch. Uh, your pushers there on the side of the case, a nice design on those as well. Uh, and you've got also some design on the other side of the case. This rubber strap is really nice. You've got some vents there that make it breathable. You've got two floating keepers. You've got a stainless steel buckle there that is signed with the Wish Do It logo. Uh, very nice, very pliable. Uh, very nice quality feeling strap on the back there. You've got some branding as well as the F-150 and Japanese movement, 50 meters water resistance. 
These are functional screws on the back. That is what holds the strap in place. Uh, I'm going to, they do include when you buy a strap, uh, they do include the tool uh, to uh, remove those to change the strap, uh, which is a pretty easy process. And I will, uh, I will show the watch on the other strap as well. Uh, but a really cool looking watch. Again, if you're looking for uh, something with a little bit of wrist presence, uh, this this interesting kind of automotive uh, look to this one with your kind of speedometer looking chrono registers and rim looking chrono registers. Uh, just an overall cool vibe. Definitely like the overall all look of this one. So let's take a look at the loom on the watch. And then we'll take a look at it on my seven and a half inch wrist on both straps. Here is the loom on the watch, just like the other Wish Do It I featured on the channel. It's pretty solid uh, for the price point. I think they do a pretty nice job. You can see you've got loom on the end of each one of your hands. You've got some loom on that chronograph running second as well. And then you've got uh, each of your indices there illuminated along with the Arabics. It's not the world's greatest loom, but for a sub 200 US dollar watch, I think it's pretty solid. It's not a dive watch or anything like that. You can definitely see it at night. It definitely lights up. Uh, so it is not too shabby. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it does have a very nice wrist presence. Uh, very comfortable rubber strap on this one as well. Uh, really nice job on this on the straps on these. Uh, again, 42 by 50. It is a larger watch, but it's not too large if you have a little bit smaller wrist than mine. It is a little bit chunky. There's your down the barrel shot. Uh, but some solid wrist presence, and I think it looks good on wrist, and that strap is also very comfortable. Let's take a look at it on the other strap. So changing straps isn't the easiest of process. Uh, these two bolts on the top is what actually holds the strap in. These little stra these little rivets on the bottom actually just hold in the case back. So uh, this side wasn't too bad to get in. The other side is giving me a problem, so I've lost my patience with it. So I'm going to end the video here. If you want to see the, the watch on the white strap, check out my Instagram. There'll be some pictures on there. Uh, again, the Wish Do It F150 Chrono. If you liked the video, give me a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.